Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. My name is Michaela. What I'm gonna run, for, run through with you guys this morning is this lightly used 2022 Bloomer monster of a trailer that I got parked behind me. I'm really excited to run you through it because it is so unique. It is so big, but it has so much to offer. A very different setup than we've seen, so I'm excited to bring it to you guys this morning. A little bit about our used trailer program here is what we call it a used trailer reconditioning program. Even when we get in something as lightly used as this one, I know this customer used it for about a handful of shows last spring, parked it and never touched it again. So again, lightly used. But what we're going to do as soon as it gets here is it's going to run through our shop. It's going to get an alignment on it. And then our chassis shop is going to run through it nose to tail, check all their stuff, service all their stuff. Then it's going to roll across the street to our RV shop. They're going to service everything in the living quarters. This one alone has three AC units and two furnaces. So they're going to service all that, all the appliances, make sure it is ready to rock and roll for you guys. It's going to get detailed. It's going to get washed. And that's kind of brings it as new as possible. So now it has been through the shops. I'm going to run you guys through it before we get to the trailer. Let's go ahead and check out those video or those drawings real quick. Show you what it looks like from up above. I told you this one is a monster. It is sitting at 45 feet on the floor. Gives you a total nose to tail length of 53 feet. You guys will see your short wall there is a 26 foot eight short wall on your outlaw. This one here comes in weighing a total of 26,100 pounds empty. Inside that outlaw drawing, we will notice that it does have two bedrooms, guys. So we're looking at two queen size mattresses in this one as well as a, di a dinette, a sofa sleeper, a huge slide out kitchen, a walk through Jack and Jill bathroom setup, and just an insane amount of storage in this one. So we'll go ahead and get back to the trailer here. We'll check it out in person. Please bear with me. This is gonna be a long video, but I'm real excited to show you all of the options on here. We're gonna start right up front here at this living quarters entry door. I just want to point out this one does have your sliding screen door here tucks away back in that framework there it is magnetic so it will stay closed with that magnet pops back open and rolls back into its spot there and we do have our fold down step on that gas shock stepping up into our living quarters this living quarters was down done by outlaw so down in stephenville texas these outlaw conversions are our favorite conversion company very high quality inside this living quarters all real hardwood all custom made for each trailer nothing is prefabricated there they do great work down there we're just there's a lot going on we're just going to go ahead and start up front guys and work our way back so starting up front you guys are going to notice the first bedroom in this trailer so this is going to be our first queen size mattress does have cabinet space up there does have its own tv up there that is gonna be your first bed area. And as you guys pop out there, you're gonna notice the door going in there. It's not a pocket door. It is an actual door on hinges, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of makes it a little bit different, sets it apart. You guys do have your own privacy here. So having this wall, no pocket door, which means without having that pocket door, you're gaining this extra cabinet space here, which we'll check out. But having this door here, now you have your privacy and your extra storage because we all know when you have a trailer this size, you're gonna have a lot of stuff going on the road with you. You're gonna spend a lot of time on the road. So you're just never gonna have too much cabinet space. And then our staircase coming down. One of my favorite things about Outlaw besides their real hardwood is the fact that they will give as much storage as they possibly can in these trailers. So even our stairs here, you guys, storage here. And what's unique about this one is the storage, but also your battery disconnect switch is right there for this trailer. So you can actually cut your power from inside your coach here. Really nice feature. On our drop wall here is gonna be our dinette sleeper. This does, your hinges are right here. You just pop those open. This will slide down. It will sit in these wooden tracks here, and this will make your dinette sleeper right there. Also works as your maybe half size dinette probably can still fit two people on each side there. So now you have your table space here. You have your eating space. Even if you don't use it as that sleeper space, now you have the table. A lot of people will work from home. They'll work off their laptops or they just want extra counter storage. You have that there with the dinette. Up above the dinette is that cabinet I was talking about, which we gained by not having that pocket door. 
huge wardrobe closet. You're gonna have that hanging rod up there. So now you can store all of your horse show clothes, your rodeo clothes, all of your extra clothes that are gonna go on the road with you right there. I foresee this trailer being a great trailer for someone that does little britches or high school rodeo. They take their whole family on the road with them. Maybe you pro rodeo and you have traveling partners. You guys are gonna have all your rodeo shirts here. Maybe you horse show and you have two of you going and you each have your own bedroom now. You're gonna have tons of clothes. Here's all that hanging space right there. And then what you guys will see at the bottom of this cabinet is a hose. This is your vacuum hose right here. This trailer is set up with a central vac system. Really cool upgrade right there. You don't see that often. There is your hose for that. I'll show you where that's located a little bit later, but that's where your hose is right now. Continuing on with even more storage over here. We're just gonna have some shelf storage right there. Sorry guys, I'm in your way, but shelf storage right there. And then over in this one, more storage, but right now we've got your Outlaw, your warranty handbook, your manual, all that good important stuff is gonna be right here. Outlaw does a great job giving you all the information right here in your trailer so you can reference it at any point. And then below that, we have your satellite control. So you do have dish satellite on here. This is gonna be your system right here to go ahead and stand it up and stow it away and control that from right here. And then back to that central vac I was mentioning, your central vac storage is actually gonna be, the whole system is underneath this bench seat here. So it's really easy to just pick that lid up and access. Clean out, dump your vacuum bags right there. When you wanna turn on your central vac, your hose connect is right here. So that is your central vac system. One more thing I wanna point out before we work away from this dinette while we're down here is just outlets down there. I mentioned earlier, maybe working off of that dinette table, work away from home, you're gonna plug your laptop in. There's your outlets right there, your central vac, all kinds of options and we haven't even moved halfway through this trailer yet. Right here is slide out number one of three. All of these are hydraulic slide outs, much um, beefier, more heavy duty than your electric slide outs, especially being as big as they are. This here is a sofa sleeper. So it acts as a sofa right now, it will pick up slide down, folds down into that bed area as well. Now we have two bedrooms and two additional sleeping areas. Again, you got your family with you, you got traveling partners, you got horse show buddies, you all wanna go. Tons of sleeping space in here. Up above that, you're gonna just gonna have even more cabinetry. All of these open together. So this is all one storage unit. There are no partition walls in between. You guys can check that out. I know you don't get to see those in those photos we post online. You just can see the cabinet doors. Now you guys can see everything that's inside of there. So tons and tons of storage space up there. All of your windows here and your slide outs and everywhere on this coach will have your day and night blinds. So day blinds and night blinds. Just nice to have that extra blackout feature there. Helps you guys sleep a little bit better if you are in a rodeo parking lot with street lights or at a horse show parking lot with street lights or RVs are parked lined up next to you. Get some more privacy there and just a little bit more darker for you guys. So there's that slide out. Working our way back. Right here is our second TV here, second of three. So one in each bedroom and then one in your living space. Again, satellite control here. Below we have our AM FM radio. You will have multiple zones with this radio. It will control your bedrooms. It will control your living space and then it has outdoor speakers as well. All that's controlled right here and an additional cabinet. They call this one the pantry because it has the shelves. Doesn't have that clothes rod. This one has your shelving, especially being directly across from your kitchen. That's gonna be where you have all your food on the road to go with you, all your snacks. The big snack person, so that would be full of snacks. A lot of granola bars and protein bars in there. Over here, a thermostat. There are multiple thermostats throughout this coach. And then below your tank levels, you guys can see your fresh water tank, your black and your gray right there. And around to the kitchen. This is gonna be slide out number two. Also your hydraulic slide out. This one here is your seven foot one. So both of these ones that we have seen are both your seven foot slide outs. In here we have cabinetry above your fridge. And this one is gonna be your 7-0 fridge. So more cabinet space up here. If you are cooking out of this coach, you're gonna have all of your pots and pans up there. It's a great spot for that. We already had our pantry behind us. And then your fridge freezer here. 
So again, just you're gonna have food and food on the road with you. You're gonna have your hot and your cold stuff. Now you have plenty of space with this one being that 70 size, a little bit bigger than your 60s, giving you more space inside of there. Working our way, I love having the slide out or the kitchen and the slide out. Gives you guys tons of space, really opens up your floor plan here, but then makes your kitchen a lot bigger than it typically is if it's not in a slide out. So what we have in this one is our recessed cooktop. Again, two burners here down in your countertop. It is gonna limit your pot and your pan size because you have these walls that you have to work around. But what you do gain by having that in there is gonna be your countertop. So now instead of having your cooktop up on top of your countertop to give you the bigger pot and pan size, now you have it down low, still plenty of space in there to get those pots and pans, but now you have an immense amount of countertop space on here. Up above, more cabinetry back here. This could be all of your other cooking appliances right in here, spatulas, wooden spoons, all that kind of stuff right there, your tongs if you guys are grilling. And then over here we have our sink. This is one of your hammered finishes. Gives it just a little bit more of a nice look to it. And then behind there, we have this roll-up door, which is even more storage inside of there. So that spot could work really way well to tuck away a couple extra appliances. If you do take like a coffee maker on the road with you, you could tuck that in there while you're driving down the road. Make sure it stays put and gets out of the way, doesn't fall off the countertop. Just again, more storage space. Up here, additional storage space. Trying to open up all your cabinets so you guys can see what you cannot see in our photos online below our sink. And then over here we have a couple drawers in our kitchen to finish it out. All of them nice and deep, really big. They go way back in there. So this is huge drawer space here to finish out your kitchen. Now we'll go ahead and check out our bathroom right here. Again, this is that Jack and Jill walkthrough bath. So we'll go ahead and take you through it. Got your pocket door right here. As we step in, our shower is right here, our radius shower. Let's can check that out. Got our skylight up above. It's got that removable shower head, which is on the ground right now because it is winterized. But again, having that removable shower head just allows you to kind of use that wherever you need to, depending on how tall you are. Me, myself, I prefer that feature storage space in here towels bath towels hand towels washcloths all that good stuff stores really well in there shampoo conditioner all of your bathroom essentials and then we'll step through here check out we have our toilet in here what i really like behind your toilet is again cabinet space here but also this feature which i thought was really cool when i stepped in this coach and checked that out really great space for your laundry hamper. Stick that in there. Now you can just throw all your clothes, all those towels, all those washcloths away there. Up above in our bathroom vanity. Huge bathroom vanity. Dual shelves in there. Now you're storing even more bathroom essentials. Toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, body spray if you use that, hairbrushes, all that good stuff in there. Another matching hammered finish sink here. I really like the waterfall feature on that sink. And then there's going to be your water and water utility systems under here. Stepping through another pocket door right here into our second bedroom. This one here offers another queen size mattress. It is their Outlaw Flex mattress in here. This one is going to have your blackout blinds up above it, but this is kind of your bed space. This right here is your slide out. So right now it is slid out so that we can walk all the way around our bed here have a little nightstand storage on each side of your bed you're also going to have outlets on each side of your bed as well so now you can be plugging in your phones right there and what i really like i know i'm going to jump you guys back over to that side i'm really sorry but we have our light switches over there we have our second gen switch right there so now we can control our generator from back here if we're using this as our primary bedroom i have actually had several customers who are interested in this trailer that may just be a single family. They don't plan on using the bed up in the nose. They are looking for something that has a master bedroom that they can walk around without crawling upstairs, without ducking and crawling into bed. They don't plan on using the nose bed at all. They want this feature right here for this reason. Makes it really easy to access for both people that are staying in this bed here. You can do it standing on your two feet. 
and then extra storage, what we saw in that slide out up above our sofa sleeper, all the way around, there are no partition walls in there, it's all one cabinet space. And then huge wardrobe back here as well. We have multiple cabinets over here, guys. You're gonna have your shelves right here, so if you're folding up your jeans or your pants right here, fold up your shirts here as well if you like to fold. My husband loves to fold all of his clothes. I love to hang all of my clothes, so personal preference, you guys. Whatever works best for you is what this trailer is going to offer you. Huge dual rod wardrobe right here. You guys can't even, I can't even explain to you. I'm six feet tall. This is huge. This is a monster of a closet here. It goes way back in there to the left as well. Definitely unlimited amount of hanging space in here. And then down there is the storage for your movable table in case you do drop that dinette down or you need... If you're cooking in the kitchen, you need more counter space, you have that table there, sets on a base, you can slide around wherever you need to. This is our third TV. I mentioned three TVs, three slide outs. Here's your third TV for your master bedroom. Cabinet space below. Now you could be storing anything that else that you need for the TV or whatever you're taking on the road with you. So look inside that one, looks the same guys. Up here above the TV, we have more to storage space as there are a USB and another outlet under here as well. So more plug-in space there. AM, FM radio, your satellite, more storage space up there. You guys are probably going to lose stuff with all these cabinets. You're just not going to know where you put it because look at all this storage space. And then we'll finish right here. Again, more shelving. Really nice drawers there. Maybe your socks can go in there. Tons of them. You each get your own drawer. Another thermostat control here and your hydraulic room extension. So lots going on in here, guys. This is, again, your second bedroom. It does have its own screen door, guys, and it has its own access. So you can actually just cut off that bathroom right there. Have your own entrance to your own bedroom here. Light switches here. We're going to go ahead and step out. Take a look at the rest of the trailer. Jam packed a lot into that 26 8 short wall. Probably a monster of a short wall. That's the biggest short wall I've seen. But look at all that we just saw in there in that outlaw conversion. I'm going to take you back to the exterior of this slide out really quick. You guys, we missed that as we walked through the trailer. A really cool feature on this exterior of this trailer is your outdoor entertainment space. So right here they have added an outdoor TV. It is on a swivel arm, so I actually have it popped out right now. You guys can swivel it, turn it wherever you need to. You can just push it back in there as well for storage. More satellite controls, AM, FM radios out here as well. Exterior speakers. Now you guys can hang out outside your trailer, get your lawn chairs out, you've got your awning. You guys can just chill out here. What we have in this door is our propane. This is your propane for your kitchen because your kitchen is located in this slide out. You guys could also disconnect it from there and hook it up to an outdoor grill here as well. Possibilities are endless with this bloomer outlaw conversion here. So now we'll just run you back through the rest of the trailer. We have another awning here as well for that outdoor seating. Outdoor speakers here. That's your entrance to your second bedroom there. Now back here, this one is a four horse slant load. It is a side load with a full rear tack. Drop down windows on the hip side here. These windows do clip down into place. So now you can clip them down. You can drive with these down. They're not gonna blow up in the wind. You can leave them up and have a sliding bus window there as well. This one is your triple axle, 8,000 pound Dexter air flex axles this one is an air ride suspension i will show you that control when we get to the head side there and then we do have our kind of recessed tie rings on these bloomers this is standard on their bloomers they do kind of pull out for you to tie up to once you get your lead rope through there it'll snug up against it once you're done with it they do kind of push back into place and get out of the way Side load ramp right here to the four horse slant load. I do like that it has a little bit of, it's got your rubber grip here, but then it's also got those 
like ribs right there that stick up just giving your horses a little bit more traction getting in and out of this trailer sometimes the side ramp can confuse them in the beginning especially it might be a little steep because i have the air ride on if you do have the air ride on and you're loading or unloading now you got that traction there for your horses so stepping in we'll check out this stall space back here we do have our airflow dividers and our airflow head grills on this stall space your front one is going to have your stud wall i really like that they have coated this stud wall or covered it in rubber matting it just gives your horses even more protection i actually had a customer call in last week when she took home her trailer that did not it did have it did have a stud wall but it did not have the rubber on it her horse is unfortunately a kicker in the trailer and was kicking the stud wall pretty significantly now when you have rubber on there it offers a little bit more protection there we do have our padded dividers to show you guys right here we have our padded up on that chest as well for those mangers and then the airflow head grills in between your mangers of course so now your horses have that visibility they can see each other if yours is one that travels more comfortably being able to see their buddies that's a great feature for those horses and then four horse land load with that stud wall you guys can use that for storage up there if you need to probably going to be needing to take those four horses on the road with you you've got plenty of storage space on this trailer elsewhere but here's going to be your four horse slant load partial divider right here on this one and then this one right here will be your extending your telescoping divider right here because of that side load setup they just do these ones a little bit differently allows it to function a little bit better for this side, this entrance here fully lined with your kick mat and then your permanent pour in rubber flooring on this trailer as well and then as we leave we do have a butt bar here so if you if you have a horse in this last stall that just anticipates leaving and you just don't want them to exit well as soon as you open this door they've got that safety feature there for you interior lights inside of there as well as load lights on the outside and then being your side load that gives you guys a full width rear tack back here fully carpeted lots of shelving on this one lots going on back here i love the fully carpeted i think it just really protects your equipment protects your trailer I love that they do shelving in their rear tacks back here, also fully carpeted, so they're giving you guys some grip there, but then also just great spot for storage of your bell boots, your sport boots, anything that you need right here. Also, it has this little cabinet here, which has two shelves in it, so maybe your smaller items can maybe dual as like your vet box right here, because it does lock. And then over here, we're gonna have all of our bridle hooks, our saddle rack, an additional shelf up there. And then they have carried your pour and rubber flooring back here as well. I think that's just a nice touch just to protect your flooring back here, especially if you do maybe actually spill your fly spray or any of your poultice kind of stuff like that. What's really cool on these saddle racks is that they're similar to what we see on our Logan trailers, that they are fully adjustable without any tools required. All you do is just spin the knob depending on which direction. Now I'm all backwards, guys, because I'm on the wrong side. Sorry, I used this one earlier. There you go. So now you spin the knob and you can slide it up and down wherever you need to. And then you're just gonna spin it back, tighten it back up, and then now you can locate them wherever you need to. So if you do have a barrel saddle with taller horns, you have a team rope saddle with a taller horn, you have English saddles without horns and you just want them closer together so you can add more on here, we can do that as well versatility with these kind of setups and then bridle hooks on both sides there and a shelf up above it does have about a three inch lip there so stuff will set down inside of there not slide out there's going to be an interior light up there as well and i really like having that fold down step getting up in there especially right now i have that air ride turned on again so getting up in there is going to be a little bit higher than it would be with that air ride turned off Over here on this door, you have your saddle pad bars. These are permanent, they're fixed right here. I like that they're carpeted so that when you stick your saddles on, or your saddle pads on there, they're not gonna slide off. And then we have a brush tray down below for more storage space. All of your quick grab items right there. 
your brushes, your hoof picks, your fly sprays, your poultice sprays, liniment sprays, rubber bands, mane and tail bands, any of your smaller items can fit right there. And then we do have load lights up top as well. So now you're gonna have your visibility inside of your tack room and then as you step out as well. Up top is our generator box up there. We also have that integrated hay pod on this one. It is an eight foot hay pod, fully integrated, meaning it carries that same roof line up there. Starting at the back, working our way up. This is gonna be our diesel fill. I know it's really tall right now because I have the air right on and we're on a little bit of a slope. It won't be that bad when that's turned off, but it is diesel fuel only. This is an Onan 12.0 diesel generator. Due to those two furnaces, three AC units, you need more power on this generator. So here's your diesel one right here. I mentioned the mangers earlier. So here's gonna be your manger storage. You have manger storage at each one. You do not have an escape door on this trailer, just simply due to where the axles are located is not possible. Keep mentioning the air ride. Here's our air ride control. So it is that same Dexter control box, which we see on our Cimarron's here that in our other videos, on and off switch, raise and lower right here, and then your drain valve. So when you are done with it, you're gonna turn it to lower, turn it off. I'm just gonna leave that there. So you guys don't have to listen to that but turn it lower, turn it off, and then you're just gonna pull on this valve right here and release your air from your lines. So you just wanna make sure that you do that when you're gonna be parked for a longer period of time. Make sure you drain the air out of those lines. If the air stays in there, it gets kinda of cool at night, it's gonna cause condensation, and then you're gonna have your water in your lines. So we just like to make sure that we do tell our customers to make sure that they do drain those. Have a brush tray on this manger door, as well as bridle hooks inside. And those mangers do open up all the way, so you guys can see all the way through right here. No walls in the middle, tons of extra storage. This space, because of those wheel wells in there, works really, really well as like a mobile feed room. You can set all of your grain bags in there, stand them up, they're not gonna tip over because the wheel wells just hold them perfectly. You can fit all your water buckets in there, your feed buckets, all that good stuff works really well for that. And then on your head side, you do have your drop down windows as well. I have this example right here. If you don't need them dropped down, you do still have your sliding bus window up there as well. Some minimal ventilation. You can go ahead and drop them down all the way. Or what I really love about these bloomers, I've hauled these bloomers several times. When you do need to water your horses, what's really cool is that these actually open up all the way, just like a door. So I love Having that accessibility, you're probably going to need a step stool right here because of how wide it is. Can't really get on your axles for this one or use a water bucket, flip over your water bucket, stand on there. Now you can get in here, you can offer your horses water, you can fill the mangers with hay, you can just check on them. Typically what I would do was just I'd open this door and I'd set a water bucket in there and I'd close the door and just let them rest and drink while you're filling up your truck. So I really like that feature there. I think that's pretty unique, pretty cool on these bloomer trailers here. Okay, we'll continue our way around. This is one of those slide outs in that secondary bedroom. You do have your fresh water tank under that mattress. So you have one fresh water fill there. You actually have multiple fresh water tanks on this trailer, but that is one of them. Your dump valves are down here and they are labeled. The back of your furnace here this is gonna be our sofa sleeper slide out in our living room. Again, that sofa sleeper has that other secondary fresh water tank. So you have another fresh water fill right there. This one being the size of trailer it is with all those AC units and furnaces and all that good stuff. Now you are going to have your 50 amp service right here. So it is 50 amp shore power right here. And then if you are hooking up to an RV hookups, you have your city water connection or your on demand water right there. Stepping around to the front up in our drop wall here, we do have this little half wall coverage right here. We've got it flipped up right now so you guys can see what's going on. We have our dual electric over hydraulic jacks here. We do have electric over hydraulic drum brakes on this one. They did upgrade to the drum over the disc. You have two 30 pound propane tanks up here. You have your batteries in your battery box right here. Again, you can lock that as well, which is just nice to be able to lock up your entire trailer. 
matching spare tire right here. These are big ones. These are 19.5s. They are Continentals. And they're going to be load range G. It's like right there. Hydraulic fluid, hydraulic pump. And again, you do have this half wall here to go ahead and cover it up and give it a little bit more protection. So that's kind of what we got going on this trailer. I hope you guys learned a lot, got to see all of that good amount of storage in person. Again, just a couple quick facts. That is that 26, eight short wall outlaw conversion. Total floor length is 45 feet. So nose to tail, you're looking at 53 feet overall. Your empty weight is 26,100 pounds. My, I was looking it up this morning so I could tell you guys, my Ram 4500, it is 2021. It pulls 30,000 pounds. So you could probably pull this one around empty for a little bit, not for very long, especially when you load it with water, all of your clothes, your horses, your hay, your grain, your saddles, your tack. You're gonna want one of our big trucks for that. We do have those here on the lot. If you guys are looking for a package deal, you're gonna need one of those big freight liners for this truck or for this trailer here, having that empty weight. 8,000 pound Dexter air ride axles, those electric over hydraulic drum brakes, which we saw, eight wide, eight feet tall, integrated hay pod, lots going on. I got, have all the original belt sheets. I have those drawings. I'd be glad to send them to you guys. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out. Please feel free to reference this video at any time. The web link for this trailer and all those pictures I kept talking about is gonna be in the description. You can also go to our webpage and type in 5U231705. You guys can also call or text me if you guys have any questions. My cell phone is 303-918-6367. Again, call or text, whatever works best for you guys. And then my email, if you want all these emailed, is michaela.geis at transwest.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to helping you guys out.